Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to quickly look at the notion of orientable surfaces. So a cylinder here, uh, you can either think of this as going on for infinitely far or cut it off at the ends here. That's fine either way. I would say that this is an orientable surface because I can define at every point on the surface a normal vector so that as I move around on the surface, that normal vector changes in a continuous fashion. It doesn't ever take big jumps, right? Um, so for instance, there, there's two orientations. You can take all outward pointing normals, or you could take all inward pointing normals, right? This is going to be of, of particular use to us because we've already defined the notion of scalar uh, surface integrals of scalar functions. Next, we're going to do surface integrals of vector functions, and we're going to need to be able to dot the vector field with with a normal vector of some kind and we need to know that we have them right so if you can define these normal vectors um and in the case of parameterized surfaces like this the the best candidate to go for is ru crossed with rv right we use that in calculating that little bit of surface area but don't take the length of it just take the cross product of ru and rv you get a normal vector if you cross them in the other order you get the vector pointing in the other direction so you have the two orientations that you could use uh, outward in this case or inward right? another example would be uh, a torus this is an orientable surface uh, in that you could have all the outward normals or you could have all the inward normals now, something that's not orientable would be something like this is a Mobius strip. I've got parametric representation of it right here. Um, yeah, this is, as it turns out, not orientable. So if you think about what... <laughs> there, is there an inside and an outside? Is there a top and the bottom? So. Picture yourself, you know, walking along here on this yellow part. So you're standing up above the yellow part here, and you start walking along this banked corner. And now you get all of a sudden tucked in underneath, and now you're on the underneath side, and your head is sticking down below. Right? This is a this is essentially a strip of paper made into a loop, but it has a half twist put into it before you attach it back together again. So if you try to make, you know, for instance, you can do um, RU crossed with RV here, you can, you can do that, but it turns out it won't be continuous, that it'll be continuous for a while, that as you move around, you say, oh yeah, it's changing, it's changing, but then all of a sudden you get back to where you started from and you're upside down, you're on the, you're on the underneath side. Um, Again, it may not seem like that's a discontinuity in that, I mean, the, the parameterization here can keep going for, you know, past zero to pi, and essentially it just sort of keeps wrapping around itself, and you keep coming back to the same spot, but you're where you had a vector pointing up. The next time you come back, the vector is pointing down, and the next time you come back, it'll be pointing up. But it's like, at each point you got to decide which one do you want and you cannot choose them so that um you you can't choose them so that they're that is continuous right um there are other surfaces as well there's these things called uh, klein bottles uh there's cross caps uh there's different types of surfaces that have some sort of twist and come back and reattach to themselves upside down and they just cannot be oriented and so we're going to have to avoid those for now when doing um when doing the integrals that we're going to do now you could use sections of this if you wanted to do a surface integral over a section of that that's going to be fine um, but if you try to do it over the whole thing when we're going to be doing these uh surface integrals of vector fields um it's not going to work because you're not going to have a well-defined uh normal vector to use that flows continuously on the whole thing so anyway that's the notion of orientable is there a set of normal vectors that is continuous throughout the whole surface